Hi, my name is Rick Gergatz. I'm the Vice President of Product Development at Aerocorp. We would like to introduce the Pegasus line of gravity tables. The Pegasus gravity table has a unique deck design which maximizes capacity and also gives superior accuracy. The Pegasus gravity table also features low horsepower requirements and low dust control requirements. Experience tells us any gravity table, including the Pegasus, is only as good as the operator running it. This DVD is designed to help you, the operator, understand the theory of the operation of this gravity table, all the operator adjustments, as well as initial setup of the gravity table itself. This DVD is organized into several different sections. You can watch them in sequence or jump to any section of your choosing. They are principles of operation, how a gravity table works, what it can do and what it can't do. Pre-startup and safety, including verification of proper installation and use of appropriate personal protective equipment. Controls and adjustment, where they are and what they do. Startup procedure, we'll cover the different types of adjustments that can be made and the effect of each one of them on the seed running across the deck. Effects of controls and adjustments, including common problems and corrective actions. And maintenance, to help ensure years of trouble-free performance. The Pegasus is constructed from a minimum set of major components. They are a rigid base constructed from tubular steel welded to laser-cut steel panels. This adds mass and strength to the entire machine. The backward inclined airfoil fan to provide quiet operation as well as efficient fluidization and stratification of product. The running gear, which includes the toggle frame assemblies and eccentric drive components. The running gear provides a shaking motion to the deck for conveying good product up an incline. The deck assembly with air undercover, product overcover, feeder, discharge aprons, and light product skimmer. External components including the filter media, air boot, and the light, middling, and heavy discharge hoppers. An optional full or half-sized dust hood. And an optional middling return conveyor. We believe that it is the unique design of these components and their positive interaction that provide the Pegasus with a superior level of gravity table performance. Fluidization is a process whereby a granular material such as seed or grain is converted from a solid-like state to a liquid-like state. On a gravity table, fluidization occurs when material becomes suspended in a moving column of air generated by a fan. The Pegasus is a pressure-style gravity table. Air is pushed through the deck and product by a fan contained within the gravity table's base. Volume of airflow is adjusted by moving the position of radially arranged louvers on the intake side of the fan. Speed of the fan is kept constant, however, to optimize performance. Airflow must be controlled such that material is gently lifted above the surface of the deck. Excessive airflow will cause the seed to be thrown upward in a boiling or heaving motion. In general, this condition should be avoided. You should learn to recognize the look and feel of properly fluidized material on the deck of the Pegasus. Properly fluidized material becomes stratified on the gravity table deck. Stratification means that individual particles are separated into layers based upon their densities or aerodynamic properties. The densest particles will sink to the bottom and the least dense will float to the top. Optimal stratification occurs when all particles have the same size. On the other hand, stratification will occur by size if a mixture of sizes moves across the deck. Batches that contain mixtures of size and density will form complex stratification patterns. That is why the most accurate density separation will be achieved when using uniformly sized material. There are occasions when some particles are visually unacceptable but do not have significantly lower density. Consequently, the gravity table cannot remove them from the good product. This problem can be very frustrating for a conscientious gravity table operator. If these contaminants must be removed, then you should consider other alternatives such as electronic color sorting. 
The angle of the gravity table's deck can be adjusted in two separate planes. One of these angles, the slope from the infeed to furthest corner, or end slope, is set at the factory or during commissioning and it is not typically adjusted by the operator. For a product such as corn, we have found that a two degree end slope will allow fluidized product to move down the table under the influence of gravity. Please contact AeroCorp or refer to your printed user's manual if it is necessary to adjust the end slope. It is the side slope of the deck, the angle from the infeed to the opposite side of the table, that must be monitored and properly adjusted by the operator. The importance of side slope adjustment will become clear after we consider the effect of the eccentric motion. During operation, the deck of the Pegasus will oscillate from side to side. After fluidization, the dense particles positioned closest to the deck screened surface will be most influenced by this oscillation. It will cause these denser particles, in effect, to walk up the side slope. They will climb more slowly if the slope is steep and faster if the slope is reduced. Lower density material will continue to float over the top of the denser particles and move to the low end of the table under the influence of gravity. The rate of the eccentric motion can be accurately adjusted with an electronic variable frequency drive. Reasons for adjusting this rate will be discussed in the control and adjustment section of this disk. Remember, it is the combined effects of fluidization, stratification, eccentric motion, and gravity that cause particles to be accurately separated by density. Proper adjustments of the feed rate, airflow, slope angles, and eccentric rate will maximize the gravity table's performance. The Pegasus gravity table provides a skilled operator with a powerful tool for producing high quality product. A highly accurate density separation also means that these results can be achieved while minimizing the wasteful discard of good product. For performance and safety reasons, you must verify proper installation of the Pegasus prior to its use. The Pegasus must be permanently attached to a rigid concrete surface. Please check that your gravity table is leveled to the floor across the length and width of the machine and that all anchoring bolts are securely tightened. Use caulk between the machine and concrete floor to facilitate easier cleanup. Confirm that all electrical connections are made in compliance with applicable codes. Also, verify that the fan is turning in the labeled direction when it is energized. Adequate grounding of the Pegasus is necessary to prevent a buildup of static electricity on the deck, especially for products such as canola and flax. Remember, the discharge of static electricity from an improperly grounded machine can be a significant safety hazard. All Pegasus gravity tables have been run for a minimum of four hours at the factory to check for potential problems. It is possible, however, that damage could have occurred during shipping. If there are any knocking or grinding noises upon initial startup, immediately stop the machine. Lock out the power and rotate the drives by hand to isolate the problem, then contact AeroCorp as soon as possible for further instructions. Refer to your Pegasus owner's manual for instructions on checking and adjusting the tension of the fan and eccentric drive belts. Prior to starting these procedures, however, make sure that the equipment is properly de-energized. Belt tensions were set at the factory, but should be checked periodically. All guards that enclose the base of the Pegasus must be in place and securely attached before starting the machine. Likewise, if the optional middling rerun system is installed, then the guards on the head and tail sections of this conveyor must be attached before operation. In keeping with OSHA standards, a tool is required for removing all guards and gaining access to locations with potentially hazardous components. These locations have been indicated with appropriate warning labels. As with any machinery, it is essential that the gravity table operator and any observer wear appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE. At a minimum, your PPE should include hearing protection and safety glasses with side shields. The use of PPE should conform to your applicable governmental and locations policies. The Pegasus can also be equipped with an optional dust hood for control of airborne particulates. Check for compliance with applicable regulations governing exposure to dust.